thank you again for tuning in. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber and today's video we are talking about nursing and breastfeeding tips. start by saying that every mom situation is different when it comes to nursing and breastfeeding. For me personally, it's actually a lot different than I expected. At the hospital, my milk supply did not come in for three days, actually when we went home and came in, and that just was crazy. It was just a crazy experience because at the hospital, we're trying. The third day, we're at the hospital and nothing happened, no milk came, and I was speaking to the lactation consultant about everything, and so when we got to the house, my supply came so fast using the pump. And for me personally, I wasn't, or I'm not that parent that cares if I nurse or if I bottle feed. As long as I'm able to supply the milk and put it in a bottle, I'm fine. If I had to purchase it, then you know, you have to do what you have to do. I wasn't that person that was too emotional at all, actually. The third day, my milk supply came and I was actually able to pump eight ounces from each poop for every hour and a half. So for me, it was easy to lose 25 pounds in the first week of having my kid. That was just crazy. I will go over things that have helped throughout that journey. I didn't even expect that much milk to come. In fact, it was a situation in my household with my husband and I because we weren't able to keep anything in the freezer. I filled up my freezer in the house plus our deep freezer, which was like so crazy. I didn't even know that was possible. Like our bodies are amazing. For the entire time of producing milk, you have to drink water. Like that's key and even though you're not eating for two that was a struggle like I just all of a sudden one day I just didn't want to eat anything and then I noticed that's when my milk supply just shut down and what helped me was instead of eating like all my cravings I would actually just get a big bowl of vegetables so it'd be a big bowl of like green beans or corn just random stuff because I knew I needed to have something in my system and to provide so all of these links will be in my description box below with links to Amazon so you guys can click it I will start off with this Mother's More Milk Plus. I actually used about half the bottle, actually. So this is the Mother's Milk. Like, it definitely is disgusting. It's the worst thing ever. I actually can get it at Whole food stores, and you have to apply it underneath your tongue. When I first, when my mom found it for me and gave it to me, I acted like it was okay so that I can give it to them, and I had my mom and um, husband try it, and I was like, oh, you guys gotta try it. So. You're actually only supposed to, it's droplets, so you're supposed to just put one drop, but I filled it up to the top and like squeezed it in their mouth so that they can know, you know, what I'm going through. But it's, it's the worst thing I've ever tasted in my life. It works, it actually helps your supply. It actually tells you how much you're supposed to take. It's four times a day, so yeah. That was the first thing that helped. Mother's Milk Tea. I did not know they had tea to take. If you are a tea person, this was my favorite tea to drink, organic mother's milk. You can buy it at Babies R Us, but they're no longer gonna be available. So again, the link will be in the description box for Amazon. Just as long as you're drinking something and that's healthy and good. And this was another form of the lactation tea that I had, uh, lactation support, and it just says it on there. It supports healthy flow and nutrition for breast milk. So these were the three teas that I drank every day, at least one of them, one um, type, and it worked out. I felt like my flow was coming. And so this is my next thing. I actually found this at Babies R Us, and they actually have it at, I think, Target or Walmart, one of those two, and this is a lactation cookie. All of the lactation cookies, you can make any sort of cookie. The only thing that it has in there that makes the milk flow is the fenugreek, and you can actually buy pills like that or tablets to take. Also comes in a big pack, which is much better to buy, but since I've already eaten the whole pack, here is just one that I kept in my purse when I felt like I needed it. I tried to make my own lactation cookies, but I noticed that it wasn't just the oatmeal that you need, it was that fenugreek, and I wasn't going to just, I just felt weird buying a bunch of pills and just crushing it, so <laughs> I didn't do it, and I wasn't sure of the exact process. So that's one thing that actually helped the flow. Whether you're having your baby latch on or nurse, or if you're pumping, this was super awesome to have was this nipple cream that you're supposed to use so that your chest it doesn't have any 
cracks or soreness. But my favorite one, as you can see, is already used up. I did not buy a new one for this video, was this Boppy Bloom because you're not only able to put it on, but let's say you're done nursing, you wipe off your, you know, your chest, then you put this cream on, and then all of a sudden your son or your daughter's fussing a little bit more because they're just not quite finished. You don't have to wipe off your boob, wipe off that cream. You can just simply have them latch on because I don't know if this one's flavor. No, they never had flavors. It's just something that you don't have to wipe off. This one, for instance, you have to wipe off. So it's really important to make sure that you don't just forget which one you use and then you have your um, child latch on because it will probably taste nasty. Whatever ingredients on there, it's not supposed to go in their mouth. This is something I didn't use a lot of. I just went straight for an ice pack, but these are the hydrogels from Medela. And this brand that I'm showing you, I'm showing it not because I'm getting sponsored or paid for it, not at all. It's because this is the brand of my breast pump. And how I did the research for it, I literally just looked at, I Googled like the top ones and that's the one that I told my insurance to send me. So this brand was great for putting on your chest when you're feeling warm because when your milk comes, it just is the worst feeling in the world. Like, it is the absolute worst. You just, your arms tense up, like that movie Neighbors. Have you seen that? <laughs> Have you seen Neighbors? Yeah, you could not. <laughs> just exactly how she started tensing up. That's exactly what happened. It's the worst. Yeah, this was great to have. It's worth the pain because you're doing something that's helpful for your child. So anyways, this is the next two things that I really liked was to keep your um, breast pump clean. Because I travel so much, I had to use a, a, a manual breast pump at times. Even when I was on the plane, I had to like sneak and do that myself. This was awesome to have because if you can see here, you're able to just wipe it down as opposed to just throwing it back in your, your purse or in your suitcase or whatever and it just being like dried up dirty milk. So this was awesome to use, these Quick Clean Whites by Mandela. This was my other, um, brand of always that I like to use as well when I needed it. For storing your milk, I don't know, I used other brands, but again, since Babies R Us is closing, they had a really good brand to use when you use, when you store your milk. This was my favorite one, Adela, because you're not only able to write it here, it actually opens up. So once you fill it up, it'll stand up in your freezer like this. So if you don't have like a little tray, kind of like this, which I'm setting everything in, I wouldn't put this in the freezer, but if you had something where you can put all the milk and then put it in the freezer, this would be awesome for it because it would not only stand up in that little container, but if you don't have one, you can just slide it in the fridge, depending on how it's configured. So this was awesome. All right, thank you again for tuning in. Be sure to click like and subscribe and you'll be able to see all these items that I showed you today in my description box.